What's up guys, Tony Scholar here with a new series, Get Fit. So, this latest podcast will break down the basics of diet and working out. I will be breaking down key parts to both topics with ideas and some at-home workout programs and much more. Also, my guest speaker today, Jacqueline Mazza, will discuss some tips on health and diet. So our first topic today is working out, exercising. So what is it, right? We go to the gym, we just pick up weights and just throw them on the floor. No, we go there, right, to work out. So first things first, figure out what you're going to do. Exercising is pretty basic. You have to hit one body part a day. So for instance, Monday would be chest, Tuesday would be back, Wednesday legs, and on and on. By doing that, you're not stressing out more than one body part and it helps build muscle. Basic exercises can be found all over the internet. Bodybuilding.com has some great ones. Um, You can go just on Google and put chest exercises and you will get lists and lists. It's the easiest way to work out, the best way if you're a beginner. Topic two has to do with dieting. So dieting, in my opinion, is the most important part of working out and exercising. Without dieting, nothing will be changed. For instance, If you are putting up 225 pounds on the bench press, but you don't do cardio and you weigh over 300 pounds, the only thing you're going to do is gain more weight from the muscle. So dieting is the key to helping you losing weight. According to Bodybuilding.com, legendary bodybuilder Vince, the iron guru, Gironda, was famous for saying bodybuilding is 80% nutrition. And that is absolutely correct. I'm here with Jacqueline Mazza, who's going to be my guest, speaking about how dieting is important, and she's going to give some key tips. Hey guys, here's just a quick tip to help with basic dieting. Try lowering your daily sugar intake and eventually eliminate all sugar habits for good. Not only will it benefit weight loss and help maintain clear skin, but according to AuthorityNutrition.com, added sugar contains no essential nutrients and is bad for your teeth. So no more dreadful trips to the dentist. Just the truth, guys. That's all we're giving. Giving facts to help you with your diet. Thank you, Jacqueline Mazza, for being a guest. And thank you for my audience for listening. And next week, we'll be discussing how and what type of programs we can start. And I'll give you some tips on some home programs that you can do while at home if you're busy and not able to go to the gym.